Thank you. Um, so how do you feel about being here in the London Film Festival in the opening of the movie? Um, I always get really sort of nervous about these things. I, I think some people get a kick out of being dressed up and looked at and I go, oh! Um, but it's a wonderful excuse to be back in my hometown. My What's your difference about being in London in the premiere than any other place in the world? Well, for me, London is London. It's, you know, it's where I was brought up. It's the best. We live in New York. But, um, and I think people really, you know, people have become a bit jaded about premieres in New York. And look at look at how people are celebrating that. I mean, it's fantastic, the reception. Absolutely. And, and I love and to what, support my husband. And what's up and coming for you? Um, I have a film coming out next year, and then I think I'm going to do a play on Broadway. I've, oh, interesting. Uh, Anything about it you can tell us? Not right now. Sorry to be boring. Oh, thank you. Oh, could you tell us, are you coming to any other galas around these days? No, we just flew in just, just to see this film, which I haven't seen and I'm looking forward to. No, absolutely. Well, thanks for everything. Thank yeah. you. And now finds out he's been coupled with for 12 of the dreams. And now the story starts. I'm just delighted to work with you there again. Oh, lovely. Hello. How are you? All right. Very well. Very well. We have some of the keys. So, delighted to be reunited with Richard and Laura once again, I imagine. Yes. They're very dear friends. So, it's a great love story. husband who feels betrayed by the wife and goes through all the agony and the pain. Tell me more about the character. <laughs> I've just described it. Anything else you want to add to it? Well, I'm not a cross-dresser. No. It's, it, yeah, it's about a guy trying to go through the pain of finding out something that he never knew existed. Do you think the people are going to be coming out of the cinema? Because obviously it's about, you've been with your wife for around about 25 years in the film, but yet possibly you didn't really know her. Yeah, Do you think people are going to be coming out thinking, hang on a second here, you know, maybe their husband or their partner's at home, or they've seen the film with their girlfriend or boyfriend, and they might think, hang on a second, do you really know you? You've, you've answered it. I think a lot of couples go through that, you know, on an almost daily basis. There's, it's not to do with those Thriller. Is it? Thriller. Betrayal. <laughs> We're so love story. What <laughs> sex? Was you as violence? Say, moving, moving love story. If I've and, only read the script. And how was it working with Sir Richard again? So obviously you've worked with him in the past. He's a he's a fantastic, really fantastic director. He's an actor's director. He's an actor's director. Uh, I've worked with him twice on stage. And this is the first time I've filmed. And what about working with Antonio Banderas? It was, it was fine. I, I just had to get over the fact that he was so ugly. I know. That was a really hard one to do. Particularly the chess scene. Because I kept, I kept saying to myself, well, okay, what my wife's gone you? off with Antonio Banderas. So, that. so this is the okay. London Film Festival and you're screening the movie here. What's the best thing you like about London? The Londoners. Hello Liam, congratulations for the Thank movie. You. Could you tell us your inspirations to play the character and a bit about the character itself as well? Say that again. Oh sorry, your inspirations to play the character and about the character uh, itself. Richard Eyre is a very dear friend. He sent me the script. I told him I wasn't right for it. But he insisted on going with me. And I told him he was wrong, and I'm still telling him he was wrong. <laughs> I'm sure it's a really great good film. film. It's a, it's a wonderful film about love, the nature of love, and. and what, what role do you choose? You like the prettier 
parts or do you like the comedic ones or no, things that you I just, I just go with whatever genre. He can do it the, all. He can do it all. As long as the, the script's good, you know. Yeah. If the material's good, that's my basis. You know. What, what advice would you give to beginners? I'm sorry. What advice would you give to beginners that are acting? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. What advice would you give to beginners that are acting now? That are starting their acting career? Uh, don't do it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you.